Hey, welcome in. Well, I was just kind of going through the news on my phone, and I saw this picture, and then I saw this headline. <laughs> and I just couldn't stop laughing. I still can't stop laughing. <laughs> Woman refuses to pluck her unibrow or shave her mustache to weed out superficial guys. <laughs> And then there's this picture. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to bet it's working. I'm going to bet she weeded out all those superficial guys right away. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny. I just do. I had to immediately get up and start making a video about this. Am I a bad person? Does this make me a bad person? Have I become irredeemable? I don't know. I just feel like somebody had to make this video <laughs> because this woman, she refuses to pluck her unibrow or shave her mustache to weed out superficial guys. <laughs> what is so funny about this? So I don't know what's going on here. I haven't even read this. I just saw that picture of that headline and I knew this had to be a video. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what do they say about it in bold day? Because they are probably think this is really brave and stunning, I'm going to guess. They say that the constraints and expectations put on women in modern society are exhausting, unfair, and frankly kind of infuriating. Well, do you know who to blame for that? Yourselves and gay men, because that's who runs all the fashion magazines and and they're the ones who set all of the expectations on women. You know, straight men aren't deciding on what the new fashion's going to be or how much your eyebrows have to be plucked, right? That's They're not in the, the fashion industry, right? They're not designing the clothes or the makeup or any of that stuff. So you could, you've only got yourselves to blame for that, first off. Anyway, we're expected to be primped and primed 24-7 so that we appear conventionally attractive in the eyes of men. But that's BS, and one woman isn't going to take it anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is called creating a, an oppression fantasy, right? To justify your failures. That's what this is. And we see here at the end of this, because I wonder if this is all just kind of a scam. She's a beautiful, self-assured woman who, in this picture, actually, she looks she looks quite nice. She doesn't look like she has quite as much of a unibrow there. I mean, it, let's be honest, it needs some work, for sure. Can't really see the mustache there too much. Um, but it says here she looks incredible. Ah, eh, stretching it. But also has so much more to offer the world than her appearance. Uh, maybe we should all care a little less about what others think about us and just go out there and embrace our natural gorgeousness. Gorgeousness, again, is a stretch. Again, she's actually got quite a nice face in this picture. She's got very nice hair. The hair that's not on her, directly on her face is quite nice. And again, the eyebrows, I mean, they don't need much work. How long would that take? I don't know. I'm guessing a lot of improvement could be done in 10, 15 minutes. That's all I'm saying. And the thing is, yeah, you, do you need to be obsessed with what other people think about you? No, that's called narcissism. But if you also want to be considered gorgeous, if, if you want to... You, people to embrace your, your gorgeousness, you are going to have to put a little bit of work into it. So, you know, if you want to be con be considered gorgeous, right, but you don't want to do any work, if you say you don't care what people think, then you shouldn't be concerned about your natural gorgeousness anyway, because you're saying that that's not important to you, that that's superficial. But it does make me wonder, you know, encouraging this, because they're encouraging this. That's what they're doing. They're encouraging this. And you see this in these magazines all the time, you know, with the um, uh, the body positivity and they're like talking about how beautiful, like just objectively not beautiful people are, you know, morbidly obese, that sort of thing. They're really pushing it. It, I think it's like a, a trick. It's a trick to like get rid of the competition, I think, you know. <laughs> no, you look great. No, keep doing what you're doing. That's what I think. That I think there are some really like narcissistic women at the top of this, maybe running these women's magazine uh, companies and, you know, advertising firms or whatnot. They're just trying to get rid of the competition so they can get the best men. That's my personal theory, because it doesn't make any real sense here, does it? 
Because when they say, you know, like, uh, it's to weed out the superficial guys, what that really means is it's to weed out all of the guys, because all guys are superficial on some level, because all human beings are superficial on some level, men and women. Again, what the attraction between people is, it's an alchemy. It's a bunch of things that all work together in mysterious ways. But one of those things is physical attractiveness. Because again, I mean, look at this picture down here. You know, a bit of grooming, this is quite, this could be a pretty attractive woman, right? But she's been taken out of the game. Now she's this. <laughs> now she's this, weeding out the superficial guys. So she's been taken out of the game. That's one less woman that this the, the writer of this article does not have to compete with. That's all I'm saying. I mean, again, it's fine to say, if you don't care, look how you want. I don't, I don't care, right? But then the thing that makes it weird is then the praising of it, of talking, pretending that it's inner gorgeousness. For one thing, it's not inside of you, it's outside of you, and everybody can notice it, right? So anyway, that's just my pet theory on this. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.